The Center for Energy and Environment is a nonprofit. We're located in Minneapolis, and we've been working in energy efficiency and conservation for 30 years across the state of Minnesota. We were actually founded in Minneapolis during the first energy crisis as part of the city of Minneapolis. And then when that crisis ended, uh, we became a nonprofit and we're a mostly technical organization. So lots of engineers, um, we run a lot of different programs. My position is that I'm the community energy coordinator. So my main responsibility is running the Minnesota Energy Challenge, which is our community outreach and organization program. It's a statewide web-based community-based social marketing program around energy efficiency and conservation. I give presentations to congregations, businesses, neighborhoods, schools, kindergarten through college, a lot of different groups to put a human face on energy efficiency. My job is really, I think of myself as like a motivational speaker because it's so confusing, it's so technical, it can get really boring, and people just need to understand, okay, what can help me now? On the energy challenge, we have over, I counted every morning, uh, 23,200 households on the Energy Challenge who are saying, this is important to me, I want to save. And altogether, they're pledging to reduce by over 160 million pounds of carbon dioxide a year. The one most motivating message is your neighbor is doing this. Yes, oh yes, the, the peer pressure piece is very important. If People, and that's why the energy challenge is community based. It's not household by household, it's community by community. Because when a community comes together and sees, oh, my neighbor's doing this, or this kid in my class is doing this, or these people in my congregation are doing this, it's so much more, power more powerful because you don't feel like you're alone anymore. You're all in it together. And there's a little element of competition or keeping up with the Joneses, you know, which is totally okay with me. But it helps people to feel more comfortable and then they have someone to talk to. I think it's important to keep in mind that even small things do have an impact. And a really good example of that is phantom load. And I recently read a study that said, well, first, one out of four American households has at least one video game console. So it's like Xbox, PlayStation, you know, Wii. All those left plugged in cost the country over a billion dollars a year in energy costs. So something just as simple as unplugging your Wii, it, I mean, it really adds up. When I'm not at work, I'm in a kickball league in Minneapolis, which is pretty cool, and I also like to embroider. Yeah.